Hi guys, so I'm just going to talk you through a map I made. Um, this is just to show um, the basics of the map. So the first capture point I've called Invaded Warehouse. I guess the idea here is it's a American um, forward base but the Viet Cong have come in and won it back yes I am using lots of bots and just ignore the lag there's a few bits of lag on here just ignore it um, that's my computer not the level um, so yeah there's there's a lot of um, as you can see like uh, I'm mowing them down that's because I'm using bots bots make it a lot easier as anyone will know um, but I believe this is a big enough area to be interesting. It's a really large warehouse. Interesting first objective. Then once the Americans take that, they move on to B and C at the same time. Uh, you can. You, you need to capture both before moving on to uh, the final objective. Now, although this isn't um, a particularly big map, it is my first attempt at a map and I've kept it fairly simple um, however one of the main things I wanted to do here was um, as you can see here there's two kind of rectangular shaped buildings uh, a little square in between without much cover uh, but buildings on either side I've kind of called these factories they're like Vietnamese rubber factory or just producing armaments or whatnot. Um, but the key here is, I thought would be interesting, is not only does it kind of uh, give you like a very much like a street up front, close and personal combat, but also there's like a crossfire zone in the middle there. I don't think there's much point in using the actual middle ground because it's so uh, sparsely guarded by anything. Uh, but if you look from one factory to the other where B and C are uh, respectively yeah, we just take C there so uh, if you look at that um, you can see there's like a crossfire zone so what makes it interesting is while you're taking B you could be uh, your comrade could be shooting across at C and vice versa because uh, they're pretty easy to hit across that little middle section there you can snipe each other um, across the building or you can fight uh, in that kind of um, see as you see on the map the rectangle there there are two floors I made two floors to make sure um, there's enough room but the feel of the map is very similar to apartments in that it's a fairly short map but I have adjusted the reinforcements and so on accordingly so it's competitive you won't find as much reinforcements as you might on a uh, a more expensive uh, extensive map um, although it's beta you can still use it if you wish to use it and test it and stuff go right ahead I honestly think if you could get a nice little lobby going with this it would be a good map so we take B and C, move on to objective D, which is the final objective on the map. So yeah, as I was saying, a lot of the combat in the factories there, there's a nice little crossfire zone, which I thought would be interesting. Yeah, it was actually uh, inspired partly by the block map from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, and it's a different style of game. But uh, I just like the way you could snipe from building to building on that. Uh, the last one I wasn't really sure but I thought maybe this will be like the Viet Cong's like little base or something where they've obviously made some ground and they've built a little tree fort so uh, you can't really see from the lighting here um, but that's actually log a log fort uh, I thought you know you've got to have a few openings thought about adding blast doors that you can actually explode but I thought oh, a bit complicated I'll just leave some gaps in there 
where you can see the logs have been felled by uh, airstrikes or so on. So there's a few different little entries there that uh, they're very similar to the uh, one of the maps. Uh, I forget the name of it. But uh, there's one where you have to uh, cross over a street. Oh, what's it called? Something similar where there's like two two opposite ends. There's two places where you can go in to attack. Uh, it's not Coochie. It's the other one that's sort of... Coochie is a big one. And then there's... Uh, good, goodness me, I can't, I can't even remember it. Um, you probably know the what I mean though, it's like uh, two streets A and B, then you go across a river and then there's like a sort of citadel with a high mounted gun. That level, that's a bit like the tree fort part here. Uh, as you can see the little canteen where the Viet Cong have been eating and upstairs there's some bunk beds where they bed down at night. It's like a little Viet Cong barracks here. I'm actually behind the cap here. I'm just trying to show you like some of the scenery. Uh, I struggled here, I, d I think, when I was filming this, just to show you. I didn't actually capture the last objective, uh, but it's fairly easy to capture actually if you put your if you put a lot of effort in. Um, it worked better without bots. It'd be good to see it, this in a lobby somewhere. It'd be interesting because I, I think I've tested it quite a lot and I think it's fairly competitive so anyway yeah the tree fort I thought was kinda cool it's like made out of logs I just thought something a bit different to uh, what everyone was used to see that's a middle entrance there but you've got to leap the sandbag there's two other openings there which are um, see these these jumping and there's one at the other end that's just the idea is like a planes come in and just sort of blown a few of the logs away so you can actually get in that way you have to I have to do something like that. See, there's the one at the other end. You have to you have to do something like that, otherwise, you know, it's going to be really difficult to take uh, to take this for the, uh, you know. So I didn't have the sandbags here on the other side because I thought that's just aiming into the spawn. But I put some on either side here. These these towers, along with these walls that you've just seen me running along, provide really good. Uh, uh, like strong defense for the Viet Cong side here so therefore I think uh, with human players who will actually use the walls the bots are thick they don't actually use the walls but a human player using the walls y you could hold this objective for a while but uh, if your men get killed uh, they've got to come back through here you see at the end of that little circle building there semicircle that's sort of where the spawn is on the fi final objective and I made a fair little dash across um, because I believe uh, it has to be a, a little way otherwise it's just too easy for the uh, Marines uh, sorry too easy for the Viet Cong so I was just showing you a few little bits and pieces around the back of the last objective little tree fort there, two towers you know, some sort of like little rubber plantation thing going on there obviously like um, mm, presentation of the map is a little bit sloppy in places but it's a lot of work to do all this so you know I think uh, I, I've done enough versions of it now to where I'm I'm happy in terms of just the gameplay I think it works pretty well now so it'd be interesting to see if anyone wants to try out playing it you know as I said it, it's similar in a way to uh, apartments and uh, the sort of building to building fighting is actually similar to Red Orchestra 2 a uh, level called Station and then there's not much maps like that on this on this uh, game um, but I'll let, leave it to others to judge because uh, you know it's my first map at the end of the day I just want to have some fun but if you fancy check it out cheers guys